we throw around the word fastest or quickest quite easy nowadays, especially on social media. I'm not going to lie, we've been culprits of the same claims. But what we have over here today is probably one of the most impressive builds that can go the quarter mile in an incredibly fast time. This over here is a VRS245 that has been touched upon by our boys at the Mechanics Automotive. And as you can read from the title, this thing can do 11.6 second quarter mile on a stock block. Let me tell you more about it. Most of you all must be thinking that the real magic of this car is actually underneath the hood. But that's not actually the case. Of course, there are some incredible modifications done to the engine. But the real talking point of this build is the OEM all-wheel drive conversion that the Mechanics Automotive and N-Square Autotech have done. Now, what they have actually done is something that I can't reveal. I kind of know the details, but the whole story is of course a little bit of a mystery to me as well. But what I can tell you is that this OEM all-wheel drive system, like the name suggests, is from the VW parts family. So it runs like a completely bone stock car and there are no error codes, no problems while driving the car. You won't even understand that it's all-wheel drive if you just hop into it without knowing what it is. Now let's talk about what is powering this thing. I completely forgot that the 245 has the hood release on this side, but nonetheless, let's check out the engine bay. So as most of you all know, this is the 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder called the EA888 and stock it used to make 245 horsepower but now it has a pretty thorough stage 3 setup. Uh, it's running a racing line R600 air intake, it's running Denso Iridium spark plugs, it's running a low pressure fuel pump from EQT, a high pressure fuel pump from VIS Motorsport, it's running an integrated engineering intercooler and it has a whole mix match of OEM parts and aftermarket parts for the exhaust system, it's running a Miltec down pipe, an OEM Golf R mid pipe and an axle bag Remus exhaust system and it sounds like this. And how can we not talk about the big fat Garrett Powermax Stage 1 Turbo strapped onto it, allowing the car to make a healthy 430 horsepower and 580 newton meters of torque. And of course, Mechanics wants to optimize the quarter mile timings as much as possible. Like most of you all know, this thing came with a VAQ differential and a DQ381 transmission from factory. But now they've also swapped in a DQ381 all-wheel drive transmission. Now the all-wheel drive transmission has shorter ratios, which means that the quarter mile timing is a little bit faster as well. Like I said, they want to optimize the quarter mile timings as much as possible. So weight saving also is pretty important. Now the car is currently on full body weight more or less. It has all of the interior, all of the body panels. Nothing is made out of carbon fiber, none of that gimmickry. But they have shedded weight where it matters. This thing is running some lovely looking black OZ Racing Formula HLT wheels and it's running uh, an EBC big brake kit and these brakes are insanely powerful. I mean, I sat in this car and this thing stops like nothing else I've seen on an MQB platform. The wheels save roughly around 2.5 to 3 kgs on each corner and the brakes save roughly around 4.5 to 5 kgs on each corner that they've been fitted in, so on the front end. And that is a lot of weight saving, especially considering that most of the weight saving is unsprung mass. That's what makes this car so freaking fast. All of these amazing, thoughtful upgrades have resulted in making this VRS245 the fastest VRS in the country, still running a stock engine with only bolt-on upgrades. Incredible 11.6 second quarter mile time was done on Draghi with full interiors, half a tank of fuel of XP100.
TVS Engineering, the people who have done the TCU tune for this car have integrated a feature called as Boosted Launch. And it is neck snapping fast once you enable that. As for the fastest, fastest VRS in India, that crown is still held by Venom Performance's VRS 600, which was tuned and built by Sriram. It's a very rainy and damp day over here in Pune but that is no problem because this thing oh. <laughs> is a grip monster with this all-wheel drive system and these brakes are ridiculously powerful. It's been a while since I've sat in an all-wheel drive VRS and yeah, this thing just hooks and goes. Oh my god. And this map is so aggressive. So the tune that these guys are running is a Venom Performance Stage 3 tune for the ECU and a TBS Engineering TCU tune. Both of these maps are ridiculous and if you know anything about uh, TVS Engineering, they make some of the best TCU maps for these DSG gearboxes and yeah, this thing is electric with its response. And this all-wheel drive system means that it can just hook up and yeah, basically shoot you off into the distance. <laughs> and as you just saw, this thing is capable of doing some insanely fast quarter mile times. And this is all down to, you know, just fine tuning and just perfecting the map, the setup and all of these small, 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 small things that have amounted to this insane quarter mile time that this car has been able to do. Mechanics has been, you know, just working at it for the last two, three months trying to perfect this car and according to them, they're still doing some final fine touches to uh, this whole setup but yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing can go slightly faster because this thing is still running full weight it's not removed any sort of seats uh, or anything of that sort and the 11.6 second quarter mile run that it actually did was on a half tank of fuel which is quite a lot of weight if you know anything about drag racing so yeah i'm pretty sure this thing can go even quicker Now, coming down to how this thing drives, uh, I mean, put it into drive and it drives like any other uh, VRS that is there on the road. Of course, uh, it's a little bit nervous uh, with the throttle pedal because you can just feel that it's wanting to go. But I mean, if you are used to it, it drives like any other VRS on the road. You won't even know that this is an all wheel drive convert. The only thing that you could probably understand is not stock are the brakes because the biting point of this thing is first of all very close to the top of the pedal and once you just tap on the brake it just breaks I mean there's no other way of saying it the braking is super aggressive uh, apart from that in these wet conditions this all-wheel drive system is just a dream 
uh, because I mean you don't have to worry about it losing grip and moreover I mean I drive a front wheel drive 300 plus horsepower car so grip in these sort of situations for my car at least is very very scarce whereas this thing has no problem in putting the power down even in these wet conditions because of the amazing all wheel drive system and it also gets Bilstein's B6 uh, suspension so it's pretty nice and pretty planted throughout the corners and pair that like I said with the all wheel drive system and yeah this thing is amazing to drive in the corners as well And I love the fact that this tune is not overly dramatic. It pops and crackles very rarely and that's so cool because I don't really like pops and bangs on cars unless and until it's natural and performance is the first priority. I don't like pops and bangs and this car is basically performance at its first priority. I mean literally each and every modification on this car has something to do with the quarter mile time that these guys are trying to chase after. And I mean we meet these guys literally on a daily basis so you know we know how these guys work and yeah this is one of the most impressive builds that we have come across in recent times. It's so well-rounded, it's so, uh, you know, just versatile in all of its senses. I mean, you can daily this car if you want to, you can take it on a canyon road, it'll fare up very nicely. And of course, you know, the insane quarter mile times that it is capable of doing. And it looks pretty sober also on the outside, it looks like a normal VRS. It does not have any carbon fiber panels or, you know, some, you know, obnoxious looking uh, stuff on the outside. It looks very, very clean. And yeah, props to Mechanics Automotive and Square Autotech, Venom Performance and all of the other people who are, uh, you know, associated with this build because I'm pretty sure they're going to go even faster. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know in the comments down below if you think this car can get into the 10 second realm. If you ask me, I think they can do it. Uh, so yeah, let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this insane build and yeah, subscribe to the Drivers Hub, check out Mechanics, check out uh, N-Square Autotech, Venom Performance on Instagram, all of their links will be down in the description and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.